Hi, this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to make something that I've never made before. Um, I'm going to make chicken pot pie, but usually you would use the pie crust with chicken pot pie, but I'm going to try doing it with puff pastry because I do not have any pie um, shells, so I'm going to use the puff pastry and see what that does for it and I've got this way I'm going to do it I hope it's going to work but I'll bring y'all along and show you the first thing I'm going to do is I had five then chicken breasts then I cut breast. each of them up into you can see little pieces or whatever and um, so that's I guess two, what you say two and a half chicken breasts and I've got this on my um, new wave induction cooktop I'm going to start it out on medium high. I'm going to put two cans of just great value water in here because I have um, well water and we had some bad rain and my water just happens to be pretty dirty right now. <laughs> so I'm going to put this bottled water in here. And since this is boneless and skinless, there's not going to be very much fat in it. So I'm going to put in one stick of blue bonnet margarine with the chicken. And I'm going to have to put more water in. Two wasn't enough. But I'm going to... I've got four stalks of celery that I'm going to cut up and put these in there. All right, I'm, I'm going to go in and put this other water in. I've got another bottle of water. So that's three waters in my pot. Four stalks of celery. I've got one whole onion. And I've got about a pound of the baby carrots. And I'm going to cut these up. Salt and pepper. And when I get this all in the pot, I'll bring you back. This is just the beginning of it. So I've got to cook the chicken and everything first, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to show you that I have the, I, I think it's called a miroquois, which is onions, celery, and carrots. I've got that, the chicken, and um, a stick of a blue bonnet margarine there and now I'm going to put the lid on it let this come to a boil let this cook and once this gets cooked down to where the carrots and celery and all are pretty tender then I'm going to put potatoes in here and then the last thing that I'll put in is some frozen peas um, but I'm going to let this come up to a boil and cook this and I'll bring you back Okay, um, I'm back. I uh, know you can't see this, but um, this is the carrots and the onions and the celery and the chicken and the margarine and the salt and pepper. And it's um, been cooking for about 30 minutes on here. I've got it down now to where it's on um, 200. Oh, no, whoops. Nope, get it back. <laughs> 200 on my um, induction cooktop. And I'm just going to cut these onions into cubes. And I don't want them in very big cubes. really should no well, that's good yeah that's good all right so I'm going to um, cut the rest of these potatoes up and put them in there and when I get to the next step I'll bring you back okay um, this is what I've got so far this has got potatoes carrots onions celery 
the chicken, a stick of blue bonnet margarine, salt, and pepper. And I'm going to take this bag of peas and carrots. I know, I already got carrots in there. But the only other bag of peas that I had was um, a huge, huge bag. So I'm just going to use this, put these in there. And hope it doesn't cause my pot to run over, which it might. Okay, um, here's the pan that I'm going to use. And I'm going to spray it, the bottom of it, with the um, olive oil no stick cooking spray. And I'm going to put it back over here. And here is the puff pastries. It's two of them in here. I'm just going to roll this because I can't get it out. So I'm just going to roll this. Out to fit the pan. And I'm going to put this in the pan and then cook this um, for a little while just to so that it won't be soggy on the bottom. Okay, um, I've got the other puff pastry rolled out. It's going to go on top. And the vegetables are cooking. And what I have done is I have taken two tablespoons of cornstarch and a half um, a cup of cold milk and I've made what is called a slurry with the cornstarch and the milk. And I'm going to, it's up, as you can see, cornstarch doesn't get, you don't get the clumps and stuff like you do if you use flour. So I'm going to pour this in here. And this is going to make like a cream. But I'm also going to put some heavy whipping cream in here, too. Okay, um, here's the puff pastry. I let it cook for about 10 minutes. Um, and now I'm going to put in about a half a cup of heavy whipping cream in the vegetable mix. And I'm going to see how that does, whether I need any more or not. Okay, because it's so runny, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this and I'm just going to put vegetables in here. Alright, so I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to pour it in over this. Let me see if that's enough. Maybe I need a little bit more right here. Okay, and I've got my oven set on 350, and now I'm going to put the puff pastry on here. <laughs> Let me get it off. <laughs> Boy, I'm messy. Try to get this over as far as I can. And you've got to punch holes in it because this is going to puff up and you don't want it to puff up too much. But I'm going to, I've 
got holes punched in here. I'm going to put a little bit of pepper on top just for look's sake. And now I'm going to put this in the oven and cook this for about 30 minutes. Um, somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. I'll um, let you know and, and I'll bring you back when this is done. Okay, I'm back. And here is the finished dish. And I have to show y'all this. This is... Alright, I hope you can see. I'm picking up do you see under the bottom? It's all flaky and crusty. Listen. It's all flaky and crusty. And <laughs> I think it's going to be really good. Um, I don't know if you've ever had the, the chicken pot pies that Kentucky Fried Chicken or KFC, whatever it is, um, has. But... They must use puff pastry. They have to because this is just so flaky and it is, um, I'm going to take a bite. I want to see what it tastes like. It's, it did cook for, um, I cooked it at 350 for 20 minutes and then I, um, took it up to 400 and let it cook at 400 for 20 minutes and, mm, <laughs> I'm going to take a bite of it now. I can't wait to taste this. Mmm. Mmm. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Look at the, look at the fluffy crust. I can't even get it out. <laughs> With one hand, but it is just so good. Mmm. And all the flavors have come together. Oh, it's so good. Doing this with the puff pastry, it was a, it's definitely a success. This is definitely a success. The only thing I wish I had done was been more careful and rolled out the puff pastry a little bit more. But it really is good. So if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And you have a wonderful day. Bye.